welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is Cass thank you so much for joining me today is the big day and I'm so excited I cannot believe it's finally here today is the launch event of the social X agency my new business and I'm so excited I cannot stop smiling so right now it's currently six o'clock I'm gonna leave here around 9 15 ish I have the venue from 10 o'clock and the event is from 11 30 to 2 p.m. It's a beautiful day out today and it's been raining for the past few days so today is a sunny day. I'm just so grateful because that would have been the worst if it was raining. Here's my outfit. I need to try this on one more time before I fully commit to it. But I have just slacks, a button up, blazer, and I'm just going to wear a belt with heels. Didn't even fix the bed. I just jumped up and got my camera and started vlogging. But I have a lot of stuff going on here. Yesterday was a full prep day, so it's a bit of a mess in here. But tonight, I'm going to do a nice deep clean of the apartment. But we have a bin with all of the gift bags in here. I need to make sure my camera is nice and charged because I need to take some photos. So I should actually make sure I do that right now before I forget. Here are all the risers for the food. But I'm debating if I should transfer this into another bin because I realized the cooler bag that I'm gonna put food in is very flimsy and it probably is only able to hold like a few pizza boxes, not a huge like 10 pound thing of food. Then I have this bin right here that I'm bringing. It has all the extra accessories and other random things that I need. And then I have my little welcome sign, which I love. And we had to actually build that easel because it came in a bunch of different pieces and actually took longer than expected, but it looks really cute. I'm ready to get the day started. I'm gonna fix the bag, I'm gonna shower, gonna do my hair, and then we can come back and I will show you what I'm doing next. Here's the outfit that I put together. I thought this looked really, really cute and I love just the pop of brown. I was thinking of getting a brown blazer to match, but I didn't wanna have to go out and buy a whole new blazer just to match this belt. So I love that it has just a little pop of brown here and it kind of just ties the whole look together, makes a little statement in the middle with it still being very neutral. I'm gonna do a little breakdown. This top is from Abercrombie. This blazer is from H&M. This belt is from Amazon. My pants are from Aritzia and then my heels are from Lulu. So it looks really cute. I just feel so chic and put together in this outfit. And I'm just ready to rock my launch party. So I just came back from the storage unit and I got another bin. I'm gonna wipe it down, transfer this in here and then I can start packing that with other things. So I realized that if I were to take an Uber, which I am, they're not gonna allow me to just put the cart in like this. I've never used this cart before, I just bought it. So first time and I came to that realization because it's gonna move around in the back. So I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to take whatever's out of the cart and collapse the cart during transportation and then undo it. So I'm gonna make it easier myself. I'm gonna put the food in here and then all of these risers and fun stuff will go in the bin so it doesn't have to get moved around. This is what the situation is looking like. It's 8.20 and we need to leave in about 45 minutes and I still have to do my makeup so we're gonna do a really quick makeup look today. I have the easel, everything is packed up here. Went to Whole Foods and got a bunch of different greenery and flowers. Put all the coffee stuff in here, my garment bag, coffee maker, put all the dry foods in that and then got some muffins as well all the charcuterie stuff, all of the gift bags here. And then this is the last cart that we have. This has all of these supplies. And then this is the cooler bag to put the cold foods inside. So just gonna get ready and then pack everything again. It is now 8.45 and I just finished doing my makeup. I just need to put on my lashes. So I'm just quickly running through with a straightener. I'm really proud of myself because I can usually never finish my makeup in 20 minutes. I had this straightener since I was in high school. Actually, this was my mom's and then she got a new straightener. I'm just so glad that my mom can be there at my event. It's hard when they're across of the country, so I'm just grateful that she flew out for this. And my brother and my dad couldn't make it because my brother just started his senior year. I think his first day was last week, so I can't film out of school for an entire week. And also, it's just so expensive to come to New York, especially for all three of them were to come, so next time. So, now the last thing I'm going to do 
on my lashes. These are the Ardell 257s. These are perfect for any eye shape. It just makes a nice cat eye look because it is a really nice wispy cat eye. But I have to cut it a bit because if I don't, it, it's like halfway off of my eyelid. And right after this, I'm going to pack the food and we'll be good to go. I'm getting my makeup on so I don't have to worry about it. It's going to take about 40 minutes to get there. I should always just cut right here. Done. And this is the perfect lash now. I cut off a little bit at the end because there's that little piece of plastic that always irritates my eye. Taking my duo lash glue. Okay, I have like 20 seconds to give you an update, but it is 9-11 right now. Gonna leave, gonna get there by 10 a.m., start setting up. Everything is packed and in the trolley, ready to go downstairs. And I just finished getting ready, packed up everything, packed up all the food. This is the makeup and let's head over to Manhattan. We're at the venue now. So stressful because the Uber driver that we had kept taking the wrong turn. So I added on 15 more minutes. And then also when we got here, I realized I forgot my laptop for the presentation that I was working on for the past basically one month. And so thankfully I had it saved on Canva and then I used my phone to just airplay it. Doesn't look the most professional, but it works and I'm gonna make it work. It's all good, not the end of the world. But I was just like, this is the last thing that needs to be happening to me right now. But here we are, the venue here. Things looking good, They're hooking up to the music there. My mom and my aunt setting up the tables and now I'm Gonna put together the charcuterie board and then we're gonna put the gift bags on that side. I can catch a breath now, take a little breather. It's all good. The event is happening now. Um, the charcuterie board looked good. Wasn't my best, but we had 30 minutes to put it together and that will usually take about two and a half hours. So it was crazy, but thank God I had help because if I, it was just me, I really don't know what I would do. So I'm really grateful that so many people are here to support and yeah, now I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna do my presentation in 30 minutes, which is crazy because I forgot my laptop at home, but thankfully I had it on my phone and it looked okay when I connected it. I could not believe that happened. That was like worst case scenario there, but thankfully there's a backup on my phone. So not stressed and I feel good, I feel good. Like my second family here, I'm able to figure out how can I help you guys more. 
I just love helping people and just creating different services and different resources for you guys. So influencing and small business. Those are two completely different initiatives and there's a huge gap between them. And I noticed that because being in New York, I'm grateful that I was able to attend so many different events, influencer events to be exact. And while I was at these events, me being me, I'm like, why are we not celebrating small business? So back in my mind, I knew that I wanted to do something even bigger to allow small businesses to reach more people, get more exposure, and just bring it to the new market. So here's some statistics for you guys. Did you know that 69% of consumers trust influencer recommendations? And I feel like all of us at one point in one time realize when they're watching an influencer, even someone on TikTok, scan that, save that link in your phone, um, fill out a form, and after that, feel free to network and we'll reconnect in a little bit. But thank you guys so much for listening to my presentation. A little chaotic. I'm still cleaning um, this is all the charcuterie stuff from yesterday it got cleaned and I have to still wash the coffee machine but oh my goodness I'm so exhausted my body hurts <laughs> there's so many more things to put away um, just because a lot of the things that I'm waiting for needs to be dried before being able to put it back to storage but it is seven o'clock and Today's actually going to be not a work day because it's my mom's last day in New York and she leaves tomorrow morning so I'm going to spend the day with her focusing so much on the launch event that I haven't really been able to spend a lot a lot of time with her. Thankfully her and her bestie have been roaming around New York and just having the best time but today I want to spend the entire day with her. So I wanted to show you this candle because I got the sweetest gift from Daisy, who is the owner of Positive Glow, which is a candle fragrance brand. And she gave me this candle called Clean and Calm. And I love it because it reminds me of home. It smells amazing. It smells like the plumeria flowers that I have at home. Then she also gifted me this linen spray which I sprayed my entire couch and chairs with this because it is so clean and fresh. I feel a lot more refreshed. I just showered and did my makeup, did my hair a little bit. I feel a lot better. My energy is slowly coming back, but today I am going back to the city. It will be the last time I'm in the city for a while, I'm pretty sure, because even before my mom came to visit, I went to the city once in one month. So 
that says a lot about how much I don't go there anymore. I'm taking my mom and aunt hopefully to pop-up bagels and to Lafayette Bakery to get the cronut and then the dippable bagels. We have no set plans but it is their last day and I just want to bring them to all the places that I love. event on Wednesday, August 14th, and it will basically be an opportunity for everybody to collaborate and connect with one another. I'm looking for somebody specifically to say a few words, educate on what it is to be a creator, to be an entrepreneur. We can keep in touch that way if that's easier as well. Yeah, absolutely. I'll lock you in and I'll be in communication through text with them. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. You as well. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I was just asked to be a featured keynote speaker for an event. Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so Jessica, the co-founder of Dream Build Connect, wanted to reach out to me for an event that's happening this Wednesday in two days. And I just had the call with her and she just asked me if I could actually be the featured keynote speaker. So. I thought it was just going to be like a round table of a bunch of people because at the last event I saw that there were like four or five people that were having a chat but she said it would just be me being the featured keynote speaker. My heart's racing a little bit <laughs> because she said there's probably going to be about 50 people. I'm like oh my gosh. I feel like it's just so different when I talk to people and I know them. So yesterday when I talked to everyone, I knew them because I have the one-on-one -on -one calls with everyone, but they're a bunch of strangers that I don't know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my introverted self is coming out right now, but I'm feeling very grateful and <sighs> okay, well, that was that. I'm gonna finish cleaning up and then I'm gonna head to Manhattan. to head out just put on some jeans and I just wash these and they're so tight and they just don't feel great so that is the only downside I hate when I have to wash my jeans because it just feels so crunchy and gross for at least like a couple of wears but I just have my J Crew top my jeans and I'm gonna wear my white sneakers it is 75 to 80 degrees today very sunny so no jacket today but ready to head out into the city and go straight to pop-up bagels Your turn, mom. They make it every 20 minutes. Mm. So it's super, super fresh all the time. Hi guys, it is now Wednesday and I realized I did not end the vlog. So I wanted to just say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support you guys have given me just throughout this journey of mine. I'm actually starting another vlog right now, so I just wanted to end this one quickly and say thank you so much again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.